Labor Day marks the unofficial end of summer and millions of people are packing their bags and traveling this holiday weekend. For those hitting the road, gas prices have taken a dip compared to the high prices we saw at the pump just a few months ago. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre shares more from people traveling on this busy Labor Day weekend. Oh, I just love to get out and look at the country. Labor Day weekend travel in full swing. It's nice to just get away from the home life and exactly just have fun with each other, get back to our roots, you know. After record high gas prices this summer, folks are happy to see some relief at the pump. This is our annual trip to Hilton Head, so we would travel regardless of the gas prices, but it's good that they're going down. A few months ago, it could have been in question whether we may even have went or not. Uh, but now that the prices have come down, we, we decided, yeah, we go on. The national average for regular gas is $3.80, 351 in North Carolina and 342 in South Carolina. Larry Silvers uses diesel, which really took a jump in prices back in June. When I filled up this morning before we left, it cost me $72. And uh, before prices came down, that would have probably been around $125, $130. With the trailer attached, he is using more fuel because of the weight, but Silver says the savings go a long way. Coming down, you know, it allowed us to, uh, to have, we're going to have a little extra money to do some little more things that we wouldn't have done while we're down there. When it comes to gas prices, for travelers, the consensus is the same. They're still a little high and they need to come down. And then now that we uh, are traveling again, you know, the COVID hopefully is behind us, then, you know, we need to enjoy those gas prices again. It's a little bit of relief, but could better, could be better. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.